Hey guys, Penna Daily here, and welcome back to Let's Play. I know you're. What the hell? Okay, it hasn't frozen. Okay, that was weird. <sighs> right, that was strange. All right, let, welcome. Back to Let's Play uh, Balance of Nature, Technical Difficulties Edition. And we are here in the Gleaming Cavern. Let's get off the Lens of Truth, because I like having magic. Alright. So, yeah. Jeez. Please. Alright, I, I hate you. Not fond of you either. Uh, that room is like everybody I hate in one package. Except Tektites, I don't care. I don't hate them. Uh, hold on one second, let me make sure everything's uh, moving along. Yep, okay, everything's recording. Hey, you gotta be careful. So, we have the map, and I think you can guess what we're going to get here. If, as if the uh, LP hadn't been pretty much front-loading it the whole time. Except, of course, there's another floor, so we know we're getting two things. The second one may not be an item. It might just be... Well. Let's see here. And we get 300 rupees! Very nice. Game isn't gonna do it, so I have to. Obviously, we have to come down here, kill the fire, come down here, and hit you. Yeah. And we're full up on bombs again, that's very nice. And we get another key. Hmm, what is that? It looks like a union suit, is what it really looks like, so I suspect we're gonna get armor. Or, well suspect. I mean, it's not like I haven't played through this before. And there's a Tektite somewhere off screen. Meh. Oh, boy. Alright. So the first thing we want to do is let's push that down. That goes over. Good. That goes up. Good. That goes down. Good. That goes over there. This goes over here. Now, what you want to do is move this... Can I do that? Yes, move that one tile. And that now moves all the way up. Move this over. Good. Now you're going to move this over here. Aw, oh, crap. I screwed up again. No, wait. Actually, I can do this. Nope, I screwed it up because that won't go up. Or, wait, it will. Yes, it will. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good. And now we want to move it this way. Good. And there you go. Now we can move this all the way over here. And move that up. So, yeah, the now they're starting to get a little more difficult. I have tried to bomb through there. You can't. Come on, dude. Just dodge. Luckily, they're very rhythmic about shooting, um, you know, fireballs at you, so. Oh, come on. Well, that was silly. There we go. And, of course, they drop a fairy. We'll get back there. Kill you. Kill you. No real reason, but... Alright. You want to watch out for the Wizrobes, because Wizrobes suck. And, good. Not that I really needed it, but eh. 
And we get a key. <sighs> All right. So yeah, you, uh, this is a this is this dungeon. Mm, I don't actually mind. It is kind of dreary looking, but I don't mind that for what's a reasonably short period of time. You're a jerk. And you're a jerk. But but you gave me health back, so I will take it. Thank you. Kill you too. And we get the compass. Which tells us that, yeah, your Triforce is on another floor. Actually, there's no Triforce, but your boss is on another floor. And now we warp. Kill you. There we go. And down. We warp to here. So, now we get to decide, do we go up or do we go over? Ugh, alright. So you are here. Right. So first, we go up. That's why I check my- that's why I have a map, really, just for- Because you can get through 90% of these places without a map, because there's not too many places to choose from, but yeah, every so often, you got a choice. We go down first. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Jackass. Alright, down. We get some recovery here. And into the next room is Moldorms. Okay. I was afraid it was going to be more Armos Knights. Uh, Yukul seems to have a, a strange fascination with those guys. Uh, let's see here. And we get a key. That's nice. Alright. Now we get to go all the way back to the door. Because you know there's going to be another locked door after it. That's why you always exhaust the no key direction first. Well, always. 90% of the time you exhaust the no key direction first. But yeah, this, this is sort of an a drab color palette, but I actually think it works as long as the dungeon's not too long. It would get boring. You can see? Imagine getting all the way here and having to go back. It would be annoying. So. Well, obviously, we can't do anything with that. Yeah. Watch out for that guy. Because of the way this place is laid out, we're going to kill these guys first, before, you know, because we don't want to risk hookshotting into them. Okay, that's good. The way these places are laid out... We can't do that, doofus. You have to go to the other door. And now I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, ADHD strikes again. I suppose I'll have to leave that one for subtitle, Ellen. Except that by the time I... Um, by the time I get to edit this, subtitle Ellen may not know what I'm talking about either. So how has things been for everybody else? Uh, my life has been pretty good. Uh, I hate you. Uh, I've been fighting with the Dread Beast health insurance. If I have any non-American... Uh, viewers, everything you have heard about the American health insurance system, it's pretty much true. It's a dog's breakfast, as it's called, or as some people say. And I've got, I've actually got good health insurance through my employer, but oh, God, trying to deal with it. Okay, I ha I am diabetic as uh, type 2 diabetes, as I probably have said to you guys, as I may or may not have said on any previous occasion. Uh, I control it with oral diabetic medications. So I pick, yeah, beginning of the year, my, now that I'm employed, I can't do Medicaid, which I had before. So I look and I deliberately pick a 
Hi, Wizrobe. I deliberately pick a word, a plan that will cover prescription drugs with no, uh, with no deductible. Because, you know, my, my oral diabetic medications are $400 a pop, uh, with discounts, but not without insurance. So, everything's fine, and then I discover once I get, once I'm on the plan, you know, once I've bought it, oral diabetic medications, any diabetic medication, is not considered prescription drugs. Diabetic, medica diabetic supplies are their own category, not listed in the explanation of benefits that you can get before you buy the program. All right, let's uh, check and see where we are here. Uh, do, 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 right, do I go up or do I go over? Up leads to a locked door and something I can't do yet, so we go over. Uh, so, yeah, diabetic meds are their own thing, and you have to, f you pay full price until you hit your deductible. My deductible for the plan was 1300 bucks. So that meant four, like, three months, well, four months, really, of paying for, because it's not like, you know, they'd, once I hit my deductible, they'd pay for, like, part of the last one. Oh, no. So three or four months of paying full $400 a month for these diabetic medications, and then they would cover them at $35 a pop. Well, I mean, I could afford to do it once, so I did. And then my employer had two plans that they offered. Okay. So, you are here. Where is here? That's a very good question. Like, literally, I have no idea where I am on this map. Oh, I'm here. How'd I get down there? Whatever. Right, go this way. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Uh, is there anything down here? Yes. But I don't think it's... But it's not where I want to go just yet. No, I want to go up first. So, one of my employer's plans was worse than the plan I had. And I was like, well, if that's it, I'm going to stick with the other one. But the other one, it cost a little more in premiums. My employer pays half of my uh, insurance premiums. And that's actually really good. A lot of places, you just... The only concession is that they you get a better... They'll take it out of your paycheck, but you get a better price than you would buying it yourself. So, for an extra 80 bucks a month, I got this better plan. And it's it's actually really good. Or all diabetic stuff is only 10 bucks. That includes my fairly pricey meds. So then, because they were both with the same, comp same insurance company... Yeah, they were both, with the, there was ridiculousness as to which plan am I on? Are they covering me on this plan? Are they covering me on the other plan? It was just a mess, and it's finally all straightened out now. Right, we go down first. Okay. And what does that look there. Okay. So we go down, we go over. Ah. It just took forever to straighten out and it was just a pain in the neck. So that was that was my saga which finally straightened out just in time for me to have a doctor's appointment. <laughs> uh. And Everything else, I, I have had a couple days where just like every little thing went wrong. I missed it. I missed the exit to get off and get gas, so I had to go somewhere else. I 
the posted meter at work broke and nobody can come and fix it until Monday, so I had to run to the the actual post office with a check, an, a, a blank check, so that they could put postage on all of our post, all of our, you know, mail, and then send it out. And, and Friday, yesterday, which of course, yeah, God knows, the, given how long it's going to be, I'm recording this entire game before it goes up, so God knows when you're actually seeing this, but Friday the 7th of February, we had a really nasty snowstorm up here, so uh, running around in that to the post office was not the most fun, even though it was only like a street away, but still too nasty, too cold and yucky to walk, so I had to drive slowly. It just... I I'm so glad it's the weekend. You have no idea. Ignoring you. Um, actually, no, wait. Back. Alright. Alright. And back again. Screw you. <sighs> Other than that, my life is good. Uh, there's just not a lot to talk about in this dungeon. Wait. Crap. Okay, where am I supposed to go now? Uh, oh. I thought this was where I'd been before, but it isn't. Ugh, yeah, there's two rooms in this dungeon that look very similar, so... I'm impressed I managed to hit that from that distance. This dungeon is more fun to do than it is to talk about, I promise. <sighs> ah! Poor form, gentlemen, poor form. I do like the, the copious amount of fairies in this quest. It's nice. Yeah, always make sure you get all the keys, because that could have been bad. And we get the hero's tunic. With its strength, you feel like a true hero. Yeah, we get the purple mail. And we warp right here. And we get the mirror shield. Like the, yeah, it reflects magic wielded by some enemies, like that mirror robe in the underground passage. I wanted to call it a sewer. It's not a sewer. And so now, we have the boss room. Hi, Carrick. Basically, this guy is a 2 by 2 whiz robe. Ow. Oh. Uh, something to keep in mind is you have to get, if you want him to, you have to get aligned with his top part, the top part of the sprite, because that's where his sensor box is for shooting at you. If you've got that, you're fine. Approach the pedestal. Hi, Ingo. Hey there, have you come to help me feed my cuckoos? No? You just wandered through a vast and confusing cave, defeating monsters, and collecting items? Well, why would you want to do a crazy thing like that? You say you're the hero that everybody's talking about. If that's true, then you should free the king of the Zoras. He has been frozen in eternal sleep by Onox, and if you help him, I'm sure he'll make it worth your while. And notice he still has the zombie chicken. I wonder if the zombie chicken has... Oh, wait, no, he's not a zombie. He wasn't a zombie in Holodrum. He's just a blue cucko that you used to get around places. I do like that. Okay, we're, I'm checking the map just so that we can get a good look at everything. Okay, there's nothing up there, so I want to go back that, w that way. Right. Okay, so, well, the King of the Zoras... He didn't actually say where the King of the Zoras is. In fact, we don't really... For once, we don't really have a clue as to where to go. But we got the... V We're an idiot because I forgot we need to get the Virtuous Sword. Uh, we do actually have to go this way. That was strange and stupid. Alright. Nope. Well. So yeah, let's go back, fight that mirror robe, and get the... Really? It's got 
got some odd hit detection. I can't believe... How... I don't know what the word is. Alright, we'll go back to the boomerang just cuz. I don't think it reflects magic in this version. Maybe it does, but I'm not bothered. I'm not gonna try. But yeah, Wizrobes will only shoot at you if you're facing, or if you're in front of them. Okay. We got the Virtuous Sword! This blade reflects the purity of your heart. It's the Magical Sword. So, we don't actually know where we're supposed to go next, but we do have the Virtuous Sword. And remember that little kid told us way back when that the, um, word, that the statues with the sword in the wrong hand are, can be broken by the virtuous sword. Now there are actually two places we found where we can go. And I'm going to go to the wrong one of them first because it, it lets us get a thing. I uh, might as well just go this way anyway, even though. There is one directly south of us, which I'm actually going to walk to right now just to show you. This is where you're supposed to go, and we will go soon enough. But I want to do something before. Uh, what's my... Okay, 21. Oh, nope. Not that way. We're actually going to do some stuff we're not supposed to... Not technically supposed to do yet. Okay. Remember how we found a key here? And then I moved along, and then this is the Temple of Seasons. We're definitely not going in there. This is a correct. Yep, see, we're left-handed. This is an incorrect. Uh, we're not actually supposed to do these yet, but I have my reasons for wanting to do this now. Okay, well, first of all, let's open up this there we go. And it is called... Verdant Maze. Which we already looked at, but, you know, sometimes... It, we looked at that a long time ago. So, first, we're gonna come this way and just fill out the map, and... Oh-ho! Uh-huh. A heart piece. Uh, we'll deal with that later. Um, we got some other stuff I want to do just yet. So if we come around this way, this maze is a little funky because of the instant um, screen shift. And hey, our 22nd Crystal and Flame, nice. Good. Ignore these guys. Nope, that way. Come this way. Ignore these guys. First, we go this way. I want to get that piece of heart. Not that it'll do much, but... What am I at for pieces of heart? Three, good. And I know where the last one is, and we still can't get it. We won't be able to get that one until, like, almost literally right before the final boss. Talk to this gentleman. It has been a long time since I ate anything. I'm practically wasting away. Ship sailed on that, dude. Burp. That hits the spot. I can see that you've helped a lot of people with their troubles. You must take this. It gives you the power of a true hero. You got hero's might. This makes you stronger than normal. Yeah, it's a it's an attack upgrade. 
I'm not entirely sure about how all of it works. Like, I think it only affects melee, but I'm not sure. It might also affect sword beams. Um, down, doofus. Wrong way. <sighs> but, um, it's, it's nice, and I want to have it before we go into the next dungeon. That's the wrong way, too. Go up. All right, so we're going to ignore everything else here and then warp back to uh, the ice area, and I'm going to make it to the final dungeon, and, or the final dungeon, the next dungeon, and we're going to call it quits. So. And I forgot. I'm a twit, but you knew that already. All right, we're going to come in here. It is recording, so that's good. So now we come down this way. And we're in this... Whoop! Uh, before I deal with that guy, you found a crystal in flame! Yes, 22. Good. Yeah, I was wrong about quite how soon we were gonna... So we got... Or 23. We got two more crystal in flames. I know where one is. I think I know where the other one is, but I'm not sure. Level 16, Rudo's Palace. And we are going to call it for now. So, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play. Um, blah. Let's, yeah, thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play. Um, <laughs> Balance of Nature, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.